Uh, I do have Puzzle Agent 2 installed. If you guys would be interested in Puzzle Agent 2, I've got cars installed. You know, life is a highway. I'm going to ride it all night long. Um, those are the kind of two most appropriate ones. <laughs> Don't see much love for cars. Yeah, we could play Puzzle Agent 2. Could do, we could do. We could do. Agent Nelson Tethers just solved his biggest case yet, so why isn't he satisfied? Venture to back to Erie Scoggins, Minnesota, to solve the mystery of the hidden people once and for all. <laughs> Gag made her. Oh my god. Yeah, maybe Puzzle Agent would be fun. I, I've got it installed and everything. Oh, DOS sport game. Or oh, like tennis or something. I would have gotten yelled at for anything less than a B. Some story award. An awarded for an awarded fail. So uh, a D, it depends. It depends when. It depends if it's high school and you get a D. It's kind of a fail. But in college, it's like, oh, you did it, right? So I got a um I got an E at college uh for f for physics um so I, I I technically I passed physics at college um and they wanted me to take it into the second year because technically I'd passed so really I didn't have to <laughs> so they were trying to get me to take it for another year uh now I was like no 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 I'm not like not continuing on an E grade. A B, a D, and an E in college. For my first year, I got a C. An E. An E and a U, I think. C, E, E, U, maybe? I don't think it was C, E, U, U. No, I don't think I got two U's. I think I just got, got one. Just the one unagreeable. Just the one. My parents weren't actually surprisingly didn't mind that much. Surprisingly didn't oh, sh mind that much. Yeah, my parents didn't mind too much. Yeah, don't worry. It was just I was opening opening up um Twitch to change change my category. Um Uh, Minnesota. Uh, we will we will go into um. We'll play Puzzle Agent. We'll play Puzzle Agent. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Not retro, but still, still, uh, still a lovely puzzle game. <laughs> there he is. There he is. He well, was one yeah, second too you. late. Already all been thinking of playing some more games. But hey, have you ever considered coming back to Radiator Springs? It's got all kinds of racing action and fun challenges. Just one second too late. I reckon you'd late. have a blast playing it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You were like one second too late. Hang on. Let me get. Uh, let me get Puzzle Agent set up. You might have been able to convince me on cars otherwise. That sound. Right. Uh, let's go with full screen. I know you guys can't see it yet. I don't know why you can't see it. There it is. There we go. Do I want full screen? I could probably want to load. Does that make any difference for you guys? Oh, dark, like, oh, just 
the slightest black border that's going to really irritate me. I have to keep going on there. The first puzzle. Do I want it full screen or do I want it, do I want it windowed? Half screen or do it? Are you sure? <laughs> Just watch it in a really tiny box next to me. I had 28 missing assignments in class, but I still managed to get an A because I tested really well. Oh, I'm really jealous. I'm jealous. I used to test really badly. My, um, like, I could do, I could do, like, um, coursework and stuff that I took home, but, like, tests I was just the fucking worst at. I wish I'd given a shit about math. What makes you say that, Simon? I had to test well. <laughs> I swear this makes sense, friend. That makes sense. I'd have a panic attack and <laughs> test. <laughs> I used to go in, and then, like, I would test really well in class so I'd be getting A's in physics and then I'd all of a sudden I'd get into the actual test room I'd be sitting there I'd look at the like look at the paper and I'd be like well I don't know any of this <laughs> I don't I don't know any of this and I got ended up ended up getting an E you know is it too loud that sounded too loud so, gotta test if you can infer the answers <laughs> Why? I'm gonna play it and see. See what the sound situ. Oh, that's too loud. That's that's too loud. No, let me back. <laughs> let me back to the settings. Nelson Tethers, Department of Puzzle Research. What? What did you guys Just say? Just arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. There's a weird man staring at me. I'll turn it down in a minute, Some lads. Kind of situ thing going on at the local eraser factory. <laughs> Locals report hearing whispers. Snow must be playing tricks on my eyes. For a second I thought I saw... Hmm. Can Nelson see the unique details of the moon? Rotate the rings of the scope until each ring is locked in place and each column of symbols contains no duplicates. I... I cannot access... I'll turn it down. Turn it down a different way then. <laughs> Where are you? Let's turn it all the way down. Minnesota, eh? How's that? That sounds a little bit better. To test well, but homework ADHD stole all my homework to the shadow realm. I used to forget my homework at home all the time, and because I was, I, I'm a real goody two shoes. Um, I would cry. I, I'd, <laughs> I'd cry. I, I'd cry because I was really upset and really frustrated that I left it at home. Oh, I see. Oh my God! Look, it's a gnome. Do you see that gnome? It to bring wait, just bringing the gnome into focus. I cry all the time. I'm a sensitive soul. Hints used! Wrong answer zero! Big money! <laughs> Top agent, big money! So, um, for everyone who hasn't played a puzzle agent game, we are a government puzzle agent, and uh, we have to try and not cost the government too much money when we solve our puzzles. Slow down, Badger. Yes, I find another game for this. <laughs> this is a speed run. One hour! One hour puzzle agent. Well, 
Dad Gummit. Personal agent. The eraser factory is back <gasps> open. Even though Foreman is down, really down hoping to see some missing. old cars play through the bureau. Child, maybe when they see them come closed. around and ready to sprint again. <laughs> oh, well, what is to have to find us? Some of us have got tractors tipping with. You yeah, have. Yeah. I like how Meta sometimes sounds like he's had like, like five glasses of whiskey because things start like merging into one. It's like, I just find several less and shots to tip my wife. Are you okay? <laughs> I just have lots of lot whiskey. We can sometimes find like little hint coins and stuff around. Vegetable crimes. How are things going in vegetable crimes? It's Midwestern and goofy. The guys in Leafy Greens are pretty busy, but this is how you know, I imagine them. Um... Roots and tubers. <laughs> We I haven't had a real case since the tarot murders back in 76. <laughs> so it's always see you later. You have a good field one. Like you Monday? Puzzle Tuesday. division. Wow. Wow. That's asking about Scoggins. Are you looking through the Scoggins file? I sure am. Oh, I hope you don't mind. It's just, I'm kind of a fan. You didn't just reopen some eraser factory. You completely cracked that case like it was some first-timer's letter substitution puzzle. Yeah. Crack that case wide open. Oh, apparently this is... So, what are you doing in my office? Check it out! I just solved the latest from Japanese puzzle master Hanji Monosaki. It's rated four dragons! Looks four like you've dragons. got some competition in the puzzle solving department. Yeah, about that. Is he gonna quit? I bet he's... Oh, can you solve this four dragon puzzle designed by puzzle master Hanji Monosaki? What is the next number in this sequence? Oh, I fucking hate the number ones. <laughs> I hate the, like, the sequence, the sequence one thing. <laughs> Hello. Hi, me. Um, just shit on this guy, like, like, literally, bread. They're gonna call me the office, the office shitter. Wanna shout out the answer, you know it! Is it one? Is the answer one? <laughs> Pardon, Doomsday. <laughs> you want to puzzle? What's the number? Hmm? I'll give you this treat if you tell me the number. Hmm? I'm gonna whisper it in my ear. I'm gonna whisper it. Okay, she says it's one. She thinks it's one. Carl didn't have any of these fancy puzzles, but. <laughs> Some look, they had some. You had to figure out why life was such a highway. Um, do I just use a him? I, I, I don't get it. Is it three? Is it one? No, two, three. I don't feel like I should use a hint. I feel like. Um three? Eleven, twelve, one, two. Is it significant that two's in a slightly different shade than the rest of them? Like it looks kind of like a creamy color? It's not significant. Um, Fred, how do you know? How do, how do you know what this is? Is this like a puzzle that you've seen before, or did you just see it and you knew? I said the right answer at one point. It's so... It's one. The answer... I said one, two, and three. So I know... Is one of them... Why would it be three though? It's not one. <laughs> so it's either two or three. 
is actually an anagram. <laughs> or is it 11 again? Maybe it's 11. Maybe it's 12. I think it would make sense if it was one. Play this last, not the good luck. Jelly, thank you very much. Did you get stuck on this? <laughs> Eleven is an anagram for bottle. Add I had to think about that. No, it's not. All right, give me a clue. You guys, give me a clue. Give me a hint. How would I figure this out myself? Is this a pattern? Well, then it goes one, 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 two, one, two, one, 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 two, one, two. What goes eleven, twelve, one, two? Is it a, is it an American thing? The hint is a number. <laughs> hint. The answer is a number. Eleven. One, two. Maybe this is an uh, is maybe American thing. Like, you know, the pork fat, uh, no, the pork, uh, pork belly heiress kind of thing. Three ones, two twos. You have it? Is this like the code to become a pork belly heiress? Brett just told me. That's me. That's me taking credit for. Nice How did you guys get that? You see here. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Don't worry. It's you me. almost. <laughs> didn't hey, even Jim, notice that. <laughs> if you like puzzles, maybe you could do me a huge favor. Jim I'm looks really sussy. I don't know what. And I've still got all these tapes from the Scoggins case. I don't trust Jim. He's got too much hair. But all you in like kind of the wrong places. These tapes must have all the puzzles. Thanks, Jim. Like, and is I'll that hair coming from his eyebrows? More notes while I'm away. It's got a bit of. I call this the hair. No the hair Just style the Moses. Me and I'll file them it's kind of pile, it's parted in the middle. Thanks for the help, Jim. Yeah, Nelson. Have a good trip to. Wherever. Like I said, the anagram was a crotchless grandpa. The bureau's marking this case officially <gasps> closed, but I can't leave it like this. That's one of my the favorite puzzles. Is one missing. is a crotchless there grandpa. There has to be some rational explanation it's a grandfather for all the clock. things I've seen. The grandfather it's clock. going to take all my vacations. They don't have crotches because they're clocks. I won't be able to relax until I found Isaac Downer and got into the bottom of this case. The only way to do that is to go back to Scoggins, Minnesota. Good morning, Dove. Good morning. Welcome back. I guess it's evening, though, isn't it? You just got off work. Good evening. I'm finally back in Scoggins. Is Scoggins a real place? Hey, Arnold. The place <laughs> is a lot quieter at night. <laughs> there he is. There's the silver I fox. I don't see any of the familiar townspeople. I did ask this last time, and what was the answer? I'm going to check into Valda's Inn and get a fresh start on the case in the morning. Done with this being one of the first puzzles and me not noticing. I I th think they could have made it more obvious by putting it on a slight curvature. If it was on a slight curvature, I think I would have got the answer. Oh. The answer was no, okay. <laughs> Sc 
cooking these nuts. Oh my, Mr. Agent Tethers. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, Agent Tethers, oh yeah. No gnomes? Oh yeah. I kind of missed the wooden gnome collection, Miss Garrett. Made the whole place seem creepier. Stove still working fine, Ms. Garrett? Good, then I just won't go anywhere near it ever again. I think it fell and nearly killed us last time. Small details. Good evening, Mrs. Garrett. Oh dear. I mean, oh dear. good evening, Agent Tethers. I didn't expect to see the FBI back here in town. Not now that the eraser factory's back up and running. This is just a personal trip. Um... Has anyone heard from the factory foreman, Isaac Davner? What? Who? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I mean, I don't recall anyone with that name. Hmm. Hmm. She's so easy. She lets do the Could end. I get the same room I had last time? Let's oh, do no. the puzzle. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, this dear. is terrible. We've, er, uh, we're completely booked up, I'm afraid. No vacancies. <laughs> no oh, yeah. vacancies? Oh, dear. In Scoggins? Oh, yeah. Lots of, you know, oh, yeah. tourists. Here for the snow and uh, erasers. Look, and you turkeys. Can see here for Lots yourself. Of turkeys in Minnesota. Martha claims she has booked all of the rooms in the inn. Can you figure out room assignments that will set? Oh, I fucking love these. My favorite puzzles will satisfy everyone's requests and spare a room for Nelson to stay in. I love these. There are six rooms at the inn, three on each floor. The guest requests are Mr. Maxwell insisted that he stay on the floor above Miss Larue. That's fucking creepy. So. Mr. Maxwell. Mr. Max wants to stay. Write these down. Above. Miss. Miss Dimpleton. Dimp. Was not stay on a floor with more men than women. No more men than. Woman. Mr. Blesson and Mr. Callman. Callman. And Mr. Carl. Always get the rooms on the same floor. They got something going on. All right. Mr. Callman. Let's start up here. Mr. Callman and Mr. Blesson. And then Mr. Maxwell. Oh, I think I figured it out. Right? This works. So Mr. Maxwell wants to be above Miss LaRue. He, look, he looks like a fucking creeper as well. Mr. Callman and Mr. Blesson want to be in rooms on the same floor, which is fine. And Miss Dimpleton wants to be on a floor with no more men than women. And Mr. Mister Tethers is the only man on the floor. So this works, right? Seems to work for me. Is there any other rules? Or is that just it? It's a little bit... Uh, because I could swap these guys around. But I just think this is... Let's just... Let's, let, yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. How's the old poo factory? Honestly, I could, I feel the rumblings of I'm going to shit myself again, um, which is getting worrying because this seems to happen at the end of every stream. Is that I just kind of feel like I might shit myself. Uh, top agent A plus. It looks like there's a room available. Hmm. Well, uh, isn't this embarrassing? Uh, With the um, room is being FBI agent educated. head of puzzles. Ghosts. 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 No, not ghosts. The, the other thing. 
bed bugs? Oh no, it's not a waste. I do oh, things pretty efficiently, no. so of uh, it's not bed don't worry. bugs. It's uh, uh, painters. The room's being fumigated for painters. Don't be silly, Agent Tethers. I mean to say, the room's being painted. I'm sorry, but you'll just have to look somewhere else. But it's freezing, and this is the only hotel in. Yeah, no vacancies. You'll just have to yeah. go outside. I haven't finished questioning her yet, though. So. We did Hello finish again. Druin. Well, how do we you did do, do the Mr. Drew. FBI man Tethers. I never did get to try your famous hot dish. Oh, ooh, well, have a seat, and I can whip up. I mean, we're all out. No, sir, not a scrap of it anywhere. Can't make any hot dish for the guests just come in from the cold. Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah. yeah. Brad, what's the Minnesota hot dish? I suppose the factory's still running with no problems? Ooh, yeah, that's yeah. really nice, isn't Our it? Our plant supplies the White House with all of its oh, erasers, it don't you know? Oh, I thought it was like yes, a sexy thing. It's a national treasure. So she was offering me her and You hot helped dish. us get to the bottom of that nasty incident like a real town hero. Well, it was no. Which is why it's so unusual that you'd be back in town again. Do you know where I can get some chewing gum? Gum? Oh my, no. Gum? You won't find a stick of it anywhere in town. Not until spring at the earliest. And maybe not even then. Why do you say that? It will get there frozen. There have been rumblings in the town council trying to ban it within city limits. But gum's the only thing that helps me concentrate. Yeah, it's all part of the new Keep Scoggins Beautiful campaign. <laughs> it's just a darn shame. You can see pieces stuck to walls and trees everywhere yeah, you look. Right. Hmm. I'll be on the lookout for it. Yeah, I could see why you'd well, want to ban um, gum. Good night, Mrs. Garrett. Stay warm, dear. Okay, it's not like it has any, um, you know, like nutritional value or anything. And it does just tend to get stuck to the floor or stuck to the bottom of the tables or stuck to trees. Scoggins hasn't wasted any time making me feel unsettled and unwelcome. Tried to check into the hotel, only to be told there were no vacancies. Unless the town's become a tourist hotspot, the innkeeper is trying to hide some- Oh, is it the gnomes? Please be the gnomes. Just heard something from the alley behind the hotel. The alley where I saw one of those creatures. Oh. I'm going to investigate. Bin, in the bin, in the bin. Oh, it's just the door. I'm really worried that this lady's gonna turn out dead. I worry that there's going to be a puzzle murder. Oh, she found a room for us. How convenient. <gasps> Look at the little gnome boy. The noises in the alley turned out to be nothing more sinister than a back door to a warm room for nothing the night. Nothing left-handed. There has to be a reason Mrs. Garrett doesn't want anyone to know I'm staying here. But that oh, is a mystery for tomorrow. Oh, it's a puzzle. Ah, a hidden people lamp to stare at me all night while I sleep. Comforting. Help trace the sighting of the hidden people by arranging these photos in order. Oh, fun. I would have said like that. Because you can see there's no snow there. There's these footprints there, so that must mean there's number two. That, yeah, that's easy. Taxpayer dollars spent $97,000. That, that's a lot of dollars. <laughs> nice. 
looked at the game and decided it liked the snow, so it starts to be quite empty. Just... Oh, oh! Do you like Done. the snow sec? That wasn't so bad. Do you bad. like going out in it? Gum. Hmm. For a. Hmm. For a second, I thought I saw hello, someone on the street hello. below. Probably just my imagination. Oh, no, it's the it's the silver fox man. I wonder if I could sneak this painting out in my carry-on luggage. Oh. More gum. Oh, a bit more gum. We go to sleep. It's clear now that the mysteries of Scoggins of go deeper than the incident at the Eraser Factory. I wonder if and he's I'm getting the I made the right choice well, to that's come back. Just like, um, Assuming, of course, I make it uh, through the night. Like administration costs. How the poops? Um, like chicken scum, but brown. Is how I've been. <laughs> like, you know when you boil chicken, the scum flutes close to the top. It's like that, but brown. I like how quiet it makes the outside, yeah. And like the, how bright it makes everything as well is really nice. I like it for the first couple of days. Huh? Isaac Dawn, Isaac Davner does not exist. Hey nation, good morning. Discover the secret message by placing the names of Scoggins missing residents in the order they disappeared starting from the first to go missing. Um, I don't, remember who was the f it's no good someone knows i'm in town because i've just received oh. a note isaac davner does not exist i won't have any idea what that means until i've gotten enough information to solve the puzzle on the other oh, side okay my first priority tomorrow that is to take this note um... into town and find out what these names <laughs> have in common is puzzle solving instrument this guy's doing an investigation for himself, but he still uses taxpayers' money. Put it on expenses, right? <gasps> there he is. Do a lot of people go missing in Minnesota? Is that like a thing Minnesota's famous for? Stupid flyers. Uh, crash of a black moon. Um, excuse me. Daryl but more than wasn't... average, all right. Hang on, I'm bi <laughs> Hey, you're that FBI guy. Special Agent Tethers, Puzzle Research Division. Yeah, well, I've got a missing person case for you guys to solve. Oh, yeah. Uh, factory foreman? That's old news. The I'm talking about factors, my brother, like Daryl. The... <laughs> right, Daryl. Right. Daryl's missing. Let's do this puzzle first. Where have you been putting up those flyers? I've been getting permission first. It's legal. You have to get permission to Need any help? I suppose you do. Sure. Federal tax dollars should work. Right, Daryl is passing out flyers in the neighborhood, but the flyer bandit is at large. And we'll steal them, figure out where to place the stacks to ensure uh, to ensure 50 flyers reach the end of the paths. Ensure exactly 50 flyers will make it to the other side of town. Each person will pick up one paper. At a fork in the road, half will take the left path. The bandit will steal the flyers from anyone who passes by them. The bandit is at the one of the three locations marked with a question mark, but no one knows which one. Okie pokey. So flyer bandit is either here, here, or here. So we have to make sure that at least 50 in total get to here and here. This game is real life, isn't it? It's it's like it's real life Minnesota. I think we want to go 24 and 22 here. As then we end up with the most reaching the destination. So we have 12 plus 11 is 33. So let me end up with 8, uh, 15, 16, 4. 15 plus 12 is 27. Uh. Okay. 
So we want to make sure that 12 plus 13 is 25. Plus 11 is 36. Plus 15 is 51. Right, so that checks out. 12 plus 11 is 33. Plus another 11 is 44. Plus 15 is... Uh, 50, 59. That's fine. That's This is fine. This works. 23. Did I say 33? 12 plus 11 is 23. Plus 11 again is 34. Plus 15 is 49. That's not right then. Okay. So we want to make sure that all of these, all of the totals add up to 50 regardless of where the thief is standing. So if the thief is standing here, then this plus this plus this plus this still add up to 50. If the thief is standing here, then this plus this plus this plus this is still adds up to 50. Um, so we probably want to so whippity so whoppity bippity boppity around. We want these ones to obviously add up to the 15, 18. I still kind of think this is right though. It doesn't make much of a difference which one. We want them to be as even evened out as possible. Where did that go up from? Is that always 13? Uh, this is a missing brother poster, I think. I'm gonna get out my calculator just to, uh, to make this easy. 12 plus 13 plus 11 plus 15 is 51. That's fine. 12 plus 13 plus 15 plus 11 is 37. Wait, 12 plus 13 plus 11 plus 15 plus 11. So do these all add up to 62? I'm getting. Yeah, you want all the reds to be about 11. 11 or 12. Because they all add up to 62, so we want to make sure that none of the none of these are over 12. Right. Ah, oh, that works, right? That works. That's that. I just had the two big ones. 11 plus 12. So 11 plus 11 is 22. Plus 16 is... Uh, 38. Plus 12 is 50. Then, yeah. This is fine. This is fine. Wish he was in more movies. Which movies are ruin in this time, Green Man? What's he in now? No? Would, no, but this works. It doesn't matter whether it's the same number. It still works. Right? Am I wrong? Eleven plus twelve. The bandit will still uh, flies from anyone who passes him. So it only matters really, like who's passing him here. Yes, we're just trying to get them to be the same then. 12, 12, and 12. Is that what they wanted? They want it to be exactly 50. But who cares if it's 51? Like, why does that matter? That just means we get an extra. There you go. That should get everybody in town on the lookout for Daryl. I doubt it. Can't have one town, left over. Just put it in the recycling. All the time in Skagans. Nobody even notices anymore. There have been other missing people. 
Plenty Game others. Shouldn't care. Even that researcher over at the campground had Silly. his buddy go missing just last week. Hmm. Do you know where I could? He's got a trailer at the Wallows campground. Name's Alfred uh, something or other. Have fun, Mr. FBI. Oh, thank Try you. Try looking for my brother while you're at it. I've actually got a few more questions for you, sir. So... It sounds like Isaac Dabner is just one of many missing people around Scoggins. The cases might all be related. I'm heading to the Wallows to ask a researcher there about his missing friend. My taxes are going towards these half-assed attempts. Uh, and look for Daryl's brother, of course. The, your tax, your tax. Don't worry. Um, I guess. I mean, they are. They are. But um, it you you. At least we don't have a flyer left over. At least your taxes aren't going towards the recycling part to recycle that one. Uh, that one more flyer. Could you tell me more about your brother's disappearance? We were out past Sassamy Woods a couple of days Sassamy. ago. Sassamy. Daryl split off on his own because he said we were in Barrel Oak country. In the trees, exactly. Barrel Oak? Oh, they're real. Don't doubt it. A and he was scared of them. Scared? Nah, he went hunting for them. Haven't seen him since. All right. Tell me more about Daryl. Is there anything else you can tell me about Daryl? He's allergic to walnuts. <laughs> no. Not much to it, Mr. FBI. Is it he you, went Red? missing out past Sesame Woods, and somebody needs to go look for him. All right. <laughs> he's going to be in a movie where he's a cowboy, a ninja, and a viking all at once. He's like, I want to be all the roles, so can I have all of the roles in one role as well, please? But do not waste paper. Have you seen or heard from Isaac Davner since I left? The Ooh. D in Davner, I the bet, stands for Daryl. Factory. He went missing after the factory shut down. Oh yeah, him. Yeah, oh figures. yeah. People here go missing all the time. All right, hidden people. Do you know anything about the hidden people? Great. My brother goes missing, and the FBI comes to ask me about forest gnomes. You don't believe in them? You should have come here earlier, when I was four years old, and listened to bedtime stories. No, I think it's a bear that eloops. I think it's a bear that's about to get married. Hi, Mrs. Garrett. Hello, Agent Tethers. I hope you had a good night. I did, actually. Thanks to a, a mysterious benefactor. Maybe it was oh, her. It's not that mysterious. I'm sure she just... I mean, whoever it was just hated the thought of you being out there in the dark and cold. Right. Uh... Mrs. Garrett, was anyone pressuring you to keep me from checking in? What? Oh, no. That oh, business no. about the vacancies was just, um, er, a, a clerical error. Oh, silly me. Well... Her act, okay. honestly, she is it's like just that some people don't I want this lady to give me a hug because you know? they see this town as a family, a brotherhood of Scoggins, if you will. But that's no reason to be in her. I'm to make me some cookies and give me a cuddle. Is there anyone else staying in the hotel? To be honest, no. Why do you ask? Somebody left a strange note under my door last night, couldn't see who it was. Oh my, I was at the desk all night, and I didn't see or hear anyone Does coming in Does she have a Has anyone in town actually seen the hidden people? Agent Tethers, that's just crazy talk. The only gnomes in Scoggins are the little wooden ones. Speaking of that, what happened to your collection from the window? Oh, those? I sold them to that nice man Steve at the diner. Made a tidy profit, too. Nobody's ever mentioned actually seeing one of the hidden people? Oh, Agent Tethers, they're just stories people tell to make the long winters more interesting. Nobody really believes in that. Except that poor Bo Murphy, I guess. And Steve, over at the diner. Oh, just oh, two. And the Brotherhood, of course. Just the majority of Minnesota, okay. Have you seen Bo Murphy? The last time I saw him, he was in the alley, talking to someone. 
I was hoping to ask him some questions about it. Red, do you believe in the little Bull people? Murphy? Have you ever seen them? Well, are they the little people, the hidden in... people? Oh my! How long has it been since they I've seen him? They are quite little, him? though. They're gnome size. Must have been around the time you were here last. That's been quite some time. <sighs> Mumbled something about going into the woods to finish a conversation. Haven't seen him since. Did you file a missing persons report with the sheriff for Bo Murphy? Oh, Bo doesn't no. start. There's no B in Isaac Daphnis. No. Until you mentioned it, couldn't Bo be. Bo was always a little unusual. Couldn't be actually missing. Even before he started talking about the whispers. I'm sure he'll be back before you know it. Hot dish. Tell me I'm about your hot kind dish, man. Curious about that hot dish I've been hearing about. Oh, sorry, Agent Tethers. Drink we really are out of the hot dish for real, I'm afraid. It's been a bad winter for Moose Meat, and the man who usually delivers the cilantro has gone mysteriously missing. I mean... Good. Need less so cilantro. Long, you stay safe out there. The, the less cilantro in this world, the better. Let's head, head out. Is moose meat any good? I wouldn't want to eat a moose. They're kind of cute. Not that I don't already eat meat that is cute. Like, cows are cute. And I still eat them, but... Right, where do we want to go? A razor factory? Oh. Uh... Go here, I guess. Cilantro is a... It's head... No. I don't really like anything on top of my food. I don't mind a bit of basil, but parsley is gross. What do we call cilantro in the UK? It's not parsley, is it? That fire pit hasn't been used Close since the last me. thaw. Venison's pretty okay. Coriander. I think I've had venison before. Okay. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a researcher. You found one. I'm Special Agent Tethers with the FBI Puzzle Research Division, Dr. Verstecht. But that's my father's name. Call me Alfred. I'm doing anthropological research here in Scoggins. They're cozy, I'm a aren't they, blood? Mankind. Check it in the soup. Someone in town said your friend had gone missing? <laughs> friend? Oh, yes, they must be talking about my graduate student, Will Medlock. Very bright young man. Disappeared. Oh, when was that? Should Two I write his ago? name down? That was before the incident at the eraser factory. But no one mentioned it before. Can't say I'm surprised. Local law enforcement was no help. Yes, I I've met the local law enforcement. People here are more interested in puzzles than missing people. God, who'd be more interested in puzzles? I'm writing down everyone who's missing. Is there anything else you can tell got me Darryl, about this we missing got Will, and we got Bo. Will? Well, now that I think about it, I wonder if spending time in Scoggins was starting to have an effect on him. Yeah, hey, Minnesota How does do that mean? to people. He became unfocused. Talked about nightmares and whispers. I didn't think much of it at the time. He walked away in the middle really? of one of my discussions about the transformative cool. power of myth and legend. I thought he was just bored, but I never saw him again. Oh, spinach. Spinach is good. Spinach is nice. What is an anthropologist doing in Scoggins, Minnesota? Same thing an anthropologist does anywhere else. I'm studying people. The people of Scoggins? Is there enough to study? Oh my, yes. The shared reality made by the people and their folklore. I've been here for years, and I've just barely scratched the surface. I don't know whether don't I think it tastes like soap. I just think it doesn't taste something good. Big. Because I don't, I don't really know what soap puzzles. tastes like, if I'm honest. It's as if the energy of like, thought is being study? transformed into solving one of the great problems of our age. Tutti, good morning. How long have you been here in Scoggins? Tutti, Tutti well, have you ever see, visited Minnesota 15 before? 15 years? I'm on my eighth government grant. Wow. Eighth government grant. Do you know anything about the missing factory foreman, Isaac Davner? Ah, yes. Fascinating story, that. A real suburban myth in the making. To the people of Scoggins, Minnesota. he's the archetype of the martyr. I know, no, I never, I was more of a chapstick kind of kid. Nature. Wait a second. Yeah, I've Dabner's got a shampoo in my mouth. Yeah, it's he's just a kind of... Person. I've met him. You know? 
Mitch but it tastes like the cheddars. smell. We're all characters playing roles. You know, if I've the got hero, like coconut shampoo, it just tastes like coconut. The mysterious sage who serves as his guide. Wise. Right. You must know something about the local stories, about gnomes? The hidden people? Well, of course. They're the ones who brought me here in the first place. I'm studying the myth and worship of the hidden people. Oh, then you've dealt with that cult, the Brotherhood of Scoggins. <laughs> oh my, yes. Frightfully mad, all of them. Be careful, Agent Tethers. Their devotion to the hidden people makes them extremely driven and extremely dangerous. Fred, are you part of this uh, part of this cult, this group? Thanks for your time, Alfred. If you hear it, oh, if you hear anything, contact me. I'm sure that's what I've he's going to say. I've just spoken with a mild-mannered but extremely driven agent from the FBI. <laughs> he was looking for information about the hidden people and the rash of disappearances in the area, including young Wills. Of course, if he's investigating a missing persons case, he'd best talk to Sheriff Bog. The sheriff may not be helpful, but he is the one man in town with information about all the missing residents. It's just to what cook out. Said. Right, let's go. Do you still have sheriffs in the US? Like, what's a, what is a sheriff? Are they like the chief of police for that area? What are they? Did Isaac ever exist? I'm finally I no idea. desperate enough to visit Sheriff Boggs' office, but he's already working against me. A note on the door says, out to grab a bite. If I want any answers, I'll oh, have to head, head to of the local Luzier Lord Diner. Policeman. Okay, they get elected. You get elected? Head of police for that area. I like that they get a fun title, that's great. You know, like kind of cowboy. <laughs> a note on the door Who says, do they get elected out by? to grab a bite. If I oh. want any answers, I'll have to head to the Moose Ear Diner. The deputy does not get shot, but then doesn't the deputy usually become the sheriff afterwards? The country? Oh, the county. Oh. It's like the whole of the US, but votes for them so would it be like is there the sheriff of minnesota or would it be the sheriff of scoggins you know not always the highest usually elected law enforcement officer of a county sheriffs of, chiefs of police are usually municipal employees who owe their allegiance to a city okay oh there he is he's got a little hat do they actually wear hats like that Actually, want to leave. I want to have a look outside. Another missing person. Oops. Between the five generators, power all devices using every available power outlet. Generators will evenly spit power if used twice. Each device must be powered exactly to their power needs. Oh, I see. I see. Exactly to their power needs. That's 45. That's 15. So 50 would have to be split. Ah, I see. No, I don't see. 25. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's start with big boy first. Equivalent of police commissioner in the UK. Do we get to vote for the police commissioner? <laughs> you get a vote for the police commissioner, Greg? Oh, okay, we do, right? Okay. So 25... 25 plus 15. 25 plus 15. Right, I think that's right. I think this 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 works out. So, twenty five plus ten. No, twenty five plus five is thirty. Twenty five 
25 plus 15 is 40, plus 5 is 45. Well, somehow we've got to find 15 power. Oh! All the way over there. In Ohio, you have local police, then county chef, sheriff deputies, and then a state highway patrol. Oh, that's kind of cool. Highway patrol. Sheriff gangs. And gangs of sheriff. Simple addition. Truly the most dawning of puzzle. It gets confusing. Who do we want to... Let's speak to this guy. Equal distribution of weight between the birds. Oh, we'll fuck. It's the bird puzzle again. Another addition one, I think. Hi, Steve. You're that FBI agent. I am. Rebels? Tethers. Go on. How's business? Go on, give me the puzzle. No. You can't prove anything. Calm down. Okay. It's that I just can't figure out this problem. Yeah, just give me the bird puzzle, Steve. Transport the four animals across the river as many trips as you need. Keep in mind that the boat's weight limit. And prevent the critters from eating one another. I'm gonna sneeze. It's gone. The bear will eat the wolf. The wolf will eat the mongoose. The mongoose will eat the snake. The snake will eat the bear somehow. Okay. Boat has a weight limit of 200. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. He's so cute. Wow. Can he not go by himself? Oh, I do not doodly see. The snake and wolf can go together. Beep, beep. Can he just go across by himself? Oh no, the wolf will eat the mongoose. Will the snake eat the mongoose? The mongoose will eat the snake. <laughs> so cute. Just these puzzles, I'm getting them, and I'm... What can I say? I'm just really trying to be good on those tax dollars. Big money. I want to use $97,000 this time. Let's see what he's got to say to us. We didn't speak to him. Kate Diggity! Kate hey, Diggity. How was the cold, freezing cold walk? Are you not Have running you at the moment? Have you seen Isaac Davner around town? Davner? The old it did tell me I was wrong, but... Oh, nobody's seen him since the incident. There seem to be a lot of missing persons cases around Scoggins. Yeah, stuff happens. Did you know any of the missing people? I don't talk to a lot of people in town. Just here for business. What can you tell He's me about sussy. the He's sussy. Steve's really people? sussy. I'm not into that anymore. Market dropped out on gnome figurines. No, I mean real ones. Mm -hmm. Real hidden people? Are you trying to catch me saying something Brooks, crazy? who do you Is think it was? Of... Who do you think the culprit was? Are you okay, Steve? You seem tense. I'm not tense. Lots Minnesota seems to be filled with crazy people and How long have gnomes you had that want to kill you. Since the eraser factory reopened. Why? Oh, you've played that now, Just Steve. asking. It was okay, cold. Okay, um, good luck, Steve. Yeah. Birds now I'm speedrunning Puzzle feel. Agent 2. Back back puzzle is just home. too easy for me. I. Oh, it's fucking Scopa. The so I like Scopa other than Dabbit the fact. Still working at the diner as if nothing's happened. Other than the fact that you had to make it up to 11, so you had Even to pay, though, like, uh, or play, missing, like. And the last time I saw her, she was using a chainsaw to try to drown me under a lake of ice. I still don't know how she's involved, but I'd better make it clear I'm only trying Minnesota to help will do if that I want to get any information. <laughs> yeah, like every uh, every time I thought Scopa was over, 
Moscow. Mrs. Davner, Glory, I think Isaac must have been involved in something big. Glory's a I nice have name. I idea what you're talking Mine's about. Buttery. No. Oh, well, she did not want to talk to me. Hello, what what kind of sandwich Bob. he's eating? Looks like a egg Agent sandwich. Heathers? What are you doing back in town? We got everything under control. That looks like egg, right? The FBI he must have. Quite a lot of Calm thick down, mustard. Sheriff. I'm just here on personal Jeez. leave. It's some yellow mm. filling. Well, I keep my eye on Piss. tourists, just Piss. the same Piss as jelly. FBI <gasps> you agents. You urine jelly? I'm sure you could, right? Ah, oh, that would be a funny prank, wouldn't it? That would be a hilarious prank. Would be tricking someone into eating piss jelly by saying that it was like lemon jelly. That'd be hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> the who? The person doing the prank, right? <laughs> When I filed my report, because no one Bureau, would expect it. I left out the part about what you holding Begros, me at Beggars gunpoint. Would probably enjoy it. Hilarious. On, yeah, it looks like pineapple. I don't know how you boys do things in Washington, but out here, sometimes a man's got to do what he's got to do, even if it means drawing a gun on a fella. What? I hope you've started to take Bjorn's cult seriously. I'm I made convinced lemonade. they're behind the disappearance of Isaac Davner. It's even in a picture. The Brotherhood of Scoggins are valued members of this community. I'm not going to let them be harassed by anybody. FBI or no. So, did all the people of Scoggins vote for this guy? I've heard that Isaac Davner is only one of the people to go missing around Scoggins. What can you tell me about the other mm -hmm. disappearances? They're paid quite well as can well. Can I tell you? Nothing. Sure, I got files on all the so-called missing persons, but I don't have to show them to any FBI man. I think you might have to. Not here I think legally. Business. Um, all right. Oh, is it lost? New one's coming out on the 11th of April. I believe the hidden people have something to do with the incident <laughs> at the factory. Agent Taylor. Please. Sinister. Just because we don't live in some My fancy jelly. city doesn't mean you can treat us like gullible yokels. All right. You've been just as helpful as always, Sheriff Bog. Glad to be a service agent, Charlie. Enjoy your time in our town. I want to live in a town yourself. that had the incident. The one that everybody knows agent some Chathers. different version oh. of, but nobody openly we talks about. Talk outside. Oh. Would you like the incident to involve gnomes? What did because you need Minnesota to talk might be about, the place Mrs. to you. Dabner. It's about Isaac. He's not back yet. He's supposed to be back. I don't think your husband actually exists, by the way. I warn you, Glory, that attacking an FBI agent with a chainsaw is a federal offense. Oh, I'm sorry about that. It's just, you were going to stop the Brotherhood. I she doesn't sound Minnesota. Isaac needed to finish his journey. I'm always so comforted. Why are you worried about Isaac now? You're the one who helped the hidden five helped gnomes. them take him. Five gnomes in a trench coat. You don't understand. It was the only way to save him. Save him? Isaac was troubled. The Brotherhood offered us a way to cure him. Right? How are the Brotherhood supposed to cure Isaac? Some kind of spiritual thing i guess neither of us hey, really Quintus understood it how are you doing we were desperate. Late. do you have any idea where the hidden people would have taken isaac the hidden people aren't real but, but i saw, saw them, them taking isaac away and she saw them it's the brotherhood they lied <laughs> picture the blink what he's watching he's when peeking you say the brotherhood lied Bjorn talked about finding peace by communing with forest spirits. I thought it was a... what's the word? A Lie? Metaphor? No, a croc. But we'd try anything. Like the shoe. And now Isaac's missing. I love crocs. She sounds like a voice actor. Beauty or Snow White? I think Beauty, not Snow White. I think Snow White had a, more of a... Oh, d I was talking about... Um, In the lodge, I saw a photo of you and Isaac got delayed with the rest again. of the Brotherhood. They said they could help us. Help Greg is Isaac. also quite hypothetical. It's just me people. messaging under the desk. They took Isaac. It's all my fault. They took Isaac? Have you told the sheriff? The sheriff knows. 
He's working with them. <gasps> Look, um, Glory, I'd like to stay and talk, but... You've got to get the missing person files. I, uh, Break into his... That's a good idea. Break into his I'll office. Make sure Sheriff Boggs stays in the diner. Oh, Find fuck, we get a break and enter. Isaac. Great. I finally got some help, more or less, in finding Isaac Davner. His wife, Glory, believes Did that I see the, the Minecraft Crocs is behind all the missing person cases in Scoggins. I've seen the furry I'm going Crocs back to and the, the um, office to find out exactly what, what he's hiding um, in his files. Platform Crocs. I love the platform Crocs. I love the um I love the furry oh, ones Mr. as well. They look really comfy. You've been there the whole time. Mhm. Mm Um, that conversation between Glory and me was strictly confidential, you know. Neither did I, Anionish. Neither did I. I we know finished you'd Nancy like early. Out of the way, but I'm going to find it. If you say so. I love the name Scoggins as well. Yeah, let's break and enter. Oh, Trixie. Oh. Really? Trixie from Back to the Future? Does she... I guess they, like, reuse a lot of Telltale actors, voice actors. Cars... No, they're Cars Crocs. Fuck, my feet could look like Lightning McQueen. The station is locked tight. It looks like the sheriff's interest in puzzles extends to office security. I wish they made more puzzle agent games. Maybe... Um... With one cut, remove all obstructions to break down the sheriff's office door. Maybe now Telltale is kind of back from the dead a little bit. Maybe they will. No, no, no. Ah. There, right? No, not quite. Yeah, the only thing it doesn't break is this, but does that matter that that isn't being broken? Mm. Yeah, this is a Telltale game. Carl's movie fetish community. Is that a, is that a thing? Do I say that's a thing? Well, good morning. Good morning, Kahizzle. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Did I get a hot... No, she hasn't got any hot dish on her. Very upsetting. I feel like... This is right. What is... What are the... What are the rules? Remove all the obstructions. <laughs> Asking for a friend. Yeah, I'm missing the top. Yeah, this is this. But I was wondering if it counts as a. Like, if I get rid of this, this change is going to be hanging there, right? Is this not the answer? Submit and see whether it works. Because the chain's just going to hang. It's not going to be a obstruction. That was my thought. It's only taxpayer money. Ah! Nice! I fucking love Professor Layton. I'm so excited for the new one coming out. Yeah, I was thinking that you could move the chain, but it, like sometimes these games uh -huh. don't make sense. Now to find those missing persons files. Good morning. Oh, good eve. Good good evening, Mary. I hope we can help uh, help puzzle you off to sleep then. Help Nelson get to the other side of the room unseen. Drag the office furniture around to block the light sources. Oh, that's fun. That's that's really fun. Okay, so we're here, I presume, right? 
Or are we here? Ooh. Oh, I see. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah. I understand. Oh, can I not like? Oh, yep. Yeah, up. Interesting. Aha! Uh -huh. Right, 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 right. So knowing how I can't move these pots. We'll all, this does feel like a stealth puzzle. We'll all be dead by the time you solve this. It does feel very stealthy, doesn't it? Stealth the lad. Oh dear. I'm pretty sure this is meant to be up there. Are you feeling lonely? Like this. Yeah? Harvey Birdman is just 100% a short Phoenix Wright game. I'm playing Ace Attorney at the moment. The, uh, the like old, old J J Jap Japan one, like the, the one set in the Victorian era. It's a bit of a, bit of a slog, but it's also really fun. You know, sometimes you're almost falling asleep, but sometimes it's really good Hello, and really Agent interesting. Dallas. <gasps> Sim, what was Christ, the point? Sheriff Bog, how long have you been standing Morale. Hey, told me you might be paying it's what you do with it. Visit. Look at I'm that first sorry, I just, one. I really needed to see how bad this missing person do problem play. is. I do play some. Do play Everything some. I got about missing people is in those files. Uh, thanks. Okay, what we got? Oh, we got some puzzles. Let's speak to Did him. Did Glory Dabner ever tell you she suspected the Brotherhood of being involved in the disappearances? Glory's a confused young lady. The Brotherhood helps oh, I can people, see some... whether it's with personal troubles or with what the fancy That's doctors some, uh, call an addiction to there, puzzles. She told me that you're working with the Brotherhood. Rumors. Unprovable rumors. Oh. Just find what you need in those files and then be on rumors. your way. Are you sure? No, I want... Everything I have... I want this. Are you... Give me the gum. Are you sure? Everything I... Give me that gum. Are you sh everything? Thank you. More gum on the floor. I wonder Scoggins if the rest police, of the Scoggins force. police force is as competent as Sheriff Bog. Right. They all look like friendly lads. With all due respect, Sheriff, these files aren't I'm exactly what is comprehensive. Truly the best there are no dates. What's in the files? Innocent is and still proved. And still proved. Discover the secret message by placing the names of Skolgin's missing residents in the order they disappeared, starting with the first to go missing. Isaac was the last... All right. Right, Isaac was the last to be kidnapped before Daryl, who was kidnapped last. So, it's a weird way to say it. So, it goes Isaac, Daryl. Hal Haldor and Will were kidnapped before Ted. Ted was not kidnapped fourth. Okay. So it goes Hal, Dor, and Will were kidnapped before Ted. Will was not kidnapped. So it goes, all right, that's pretty easy then. Oh, I've done it. So it goes Daryl. Daryl lost. Isaac. Haldor. 
Will, Ed, and Barney Strustrup. That doesn't make a sentence, though. That doesn't make a sentence. Make a sentence? Will was not kidnapped first, Ted was not killed. Bonnie. Let's start with Bonnie. Does it need to make sense? I don't know if it needs to make sense. Because it could be a... Uh... It, it, it could be one of those um, anagrams. Because I've got Haldor, Will, Ted, Isaac, Daryl. But there's no reason why these two can't be. What were the rules? Was the rule like Ted was not kidnapped for? So Ted, Ted could have been kidnapped second. Barney could have been kidnapped second as well. Haldor was killed, uh, killed? Kidnapped before Will, so Haldor could have been kidnapped second. It might be dead. Ed was not kidnapped fourth. Will was not kidnapped first. Haldor and Will were kidnapped before Ted. So it has to go... Haldor... Haldor will Ted. Has to go. It, I, I think this has to be right. Haldor will. I think this has to be right. Ted has got to be third, yeah. Ted has to be third, and then it has to go like this. And then. Isaac was the last to be kidnapped before Daryl, who was kidnapped last. Let's see if it's not meant to make sense. Maybe it's not. Is that a word? Tet-tet-teta? It was right the first time! Is it an anagram? Oh, that. Top agent. Aha. Uh -huh. It spells a name? Teeter Daughter. Oh, like Teeter Totter. Uh, oh, he's at the hot stuff. Mm, that's probably Melkorka Teeter Daughter. And yeah, she's a strange one. Keeps her herself. Nobody in town really knows her. Is she one of the missing people? Agent missing? of the agent of the month. Uh, I can't say anyone would miss her. That's Lives fucking in the rude. old Teterson house over That's on rude. the west side of town. Is Teterson like a normal in. American Then I'd better find Sunday. out what she knows about all these disappearances. Is that, like, is that why I'm not understanding it? Put my it? furniture back in order and fix the lock on your way out, Tethers. I actually gotta fix his furniture. Is it actually a, a Scandinavian last name? Right, the Teter... The Tita House. Is that the Tita House? Where's the Tita House? This one. Oh wow! Okay, son of Tita. Also, Scandies in Minnesota. 
I'm not the being mean. Sheriff I'm not. Wasn't sending me on another wild goose chase. Lots of Norwegian references of in this game. It just didn't sound like a. I'm it didn't sound. Sure how she ties into the <laughs> born of the teeth. But she's the only lead I've got. It just didn't sound sound According real. To the sheriff's it looked like she sounds like a recluse. You know, in the Countdown, where they put up all of the letters, and it's not yet made into a word. Oh, she's sexy. Oh, it's a sexy lady. Oh, she's sexy puzzle Good lady! Evening, Agent Tethers. I see you found my note. Oh. Quickly, come inside before they see us. Hello, Miss Tita. I see you're a puzzle fan, Miss Teeter Daughter. I dabble. Keeps the brain sharp. And my friends call me Korka. I would hope you're a friend. She, she whispered that to me. Mm. She likes Can Funopoly. She's got Funopoly, she's got Babble, she's got Sleuth, and she's got pictures. Just the facts, ma'am. She's also got a problem with gum everywhere. She needs to fucking clean her place up. Let's do a puzzle Another first. puzzle. What are the next two digits in this sequence? Oh my god. Fred? Fred, what are the next numbers in the sequence? Fred? <laughs> Immediately starting to pick up old gum everywhere. I guess it's, you know, it's a kindness, right? <laughs> Next numbers, Fred. Ten. Uh, I'm looking at the difference between the numbers. It's ten. Uh, we've got eighteen. Sixty-nine. That's a weird clock list. <laughs> She's an enemy spy sent to entice us. Maybe she is, though. You know, Onionish. Why do you guys, how do you guys just look at numbers and you're like, oh, I see a sequence. You're like, you know, you go in, like, I'll never tell. It's a special sequence. Maybe it's something to do. The difference between those is three to four, then it goes five, right? The difference between those those is 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 three, four, five. And then these ones, that's one minus ten. Digits in space. Win it more. Is the space in between the digits? What? Oh, is it like Has something to do with next week. Now she has to do with birthdays. Is it an American thing? Is it like the president's birthday next week that I didn't know? 
Oh, three, one, four, one, five, nine, two, six. Three, one, four, one, five, nine, two, six. Three, one, four, one, five, nine, five, nine. Five nine. Five, five. Oh yeah, thirty one. I don't think I could do it. Forty one. <laughs> Three one four one. Five nine two six. Three one four one five nine six. The most the most British accents are closest to US Southern accents. Always find it funny when Brits do American accents and it comes out Texas. It's the only way I can do. He's badger with the shipping forecast. Three one four one five nine two six. Three one four one five nine two six. That wasn't in hint. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for thank you for nearly throwing me off. Need my audio learning tapes. <laughs> you gotta say howdy and then go from there. It's a famous number. 69? 69. 69. Is it 69? Try shifting the numbers to the right one. Put my cursor between the three and the one. Uh, look. You see, it's a four. But I still don't understand. It's a four. But I still. Is it is it eight? Um eight No, it's not. Is it um it totals to eight though? Right. Does it now? That totals to four. That totals to five. That totals to four though. Two digits. Totaling to eight. Fifty-three! Fifty-three! Is it fifty-three? Fifty- Fifty-three! Is it fifty-three? Fifty-three! Fifty-three!
But why? I don't know, Oz. Why not? Why not 53? Hang on. I'm going to look up the president's birthday and see whether it gives me like a... See whether it gives me a clue. No, I don't want to know what President's Day. I want to know. Ah, oh, is it a coincidence? Is it a coincidence that it adds up to eight and the president is 80? Ah, <laughs> ah! I don't I think not! I think not! Let's do 53. Let's submit 53. It's because the president is 80. So five and three add up to eight. That's how I got that the answer. That was a tricky one. Yeah, it was. How, how, like, how do they predict that? I've lost, is it's already gone, Brent. <laughs> I don't need to said, know the how. Nonosaki sensei's lost his edge. Oh, it was 3.14159. Was it actually pi? Point one four one five nine two six five three eight nine seven. Ah. Ah, who thought that? Who would have thought? What did the students say about their Euclidean geometry test? It was easy as by. Love those educational streams. <laughs> did you know? Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much for 22 months. Thank you so much for T3. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was an American thing. It was American Pie. That's how it... My mime is American Pie. 3.14159. That's how it... That's how we learned pie at school. Only after a very, very long time. Do you, I just, I don't, like, that wouldn't have even entered my mind. Like, pi is this, or like, that, that, maths is like this filing cabinet that stays shut. Should round of 54, since it's 3.15152, uh, 26535. Uh, so they weren't rounding it, they were just. You mentioned a note. Are you the one who slipped a note with a puzzle under my door? I feel it Working had to do with the, the president. Theatrics, Agent Heathers. I knew your reputation, but I had to be sure you had what it takes. I don't know your how they predict that. puzzle had a that. list of all the missing people in Scoggins for over a decade. I have not I've used pie track. since like Somebody high school. Somebody has to. There's a name I didn't recognize. Halder Magnuson. Oh, she's sad. He was my partner. Business partner? Eight years ago, he went into the woods. Eight? C, C, C? Adds up to eight. Adds up to eight. Uh, yeah, other than, like, puzzles and video games. I, I haven't had to use it in, like, like any real life kind of things. Adds up to A, and how old's the president? He's 80. That number was very irrational. It all adds up what together. What does this mean? Isaac Davner does not exist. Finally, you're asking the right questions. Test pilot, Test Ed, pilot Davey. Ed Davis, but that's not comedian. That's Ed Isaac Davey. Davner. 
and look at the date of that article. Was it eight years ago? Sixteen years ago. Oh, and Bob, that's just a sixteen. Few weeks before the date of the first missing Fred, persons case. Fred, what's half of sixteen? Exactly. Hmm. Half of sixteen is eight. How are the hidden people tied into all this? <laughs> Seriously, 21. Agent Heathers? Maybe I misjudged you. Are you here to investigate a crime? Or to chase after forest gnomes? Like those gullible Rincino, fools and the brotherhood I'll see you cut. later. You have a great day as well. You have a great Wednesday. Is it Tuesday? It's Tuesday. None of this explains how Bjorn and his brotherhood cult mm -hmm. is involved. Think clearly, Nelson. That lodge has been a part of the town for decades. The disappearances started only Eight decades years ago. Eight decades? There is only one explanation. Ed Davis, your Isaac Davner, is a serial murderer. <gasps> but the hidden people. I saw them take Isaac away. Smokescreen. Davner disappeared just as you were getting too close. You're the only one who can find him and stop him. All right, I don't foxy know what lady. To think. I need some gum. Let me see your map. I'm suspicious of this sexy lady. Maybe she's maybe she's a gnome. I have marked approximately where in the woods a gnome with an Edna Mode wig. Once the FBI showed up, Ed Davis ran back into hiding. But you want to find Isaac Davner? Head back to the scene of his crimes. All right, I'll do it. Someone has got to investigate. Eight gnomes in a woman's suit. Come back it all comes you back find to the president, doesn't it? I'll be up. Wait, it comes back. I can stay up all night. <laughs> well then. We could do a lot of scrabble all night. But oh, did you? Did, oh, Gullock's actually had a question. How are the comics? At least the eraser factory's up and running again. Scoggins' only exports are erasers and weirdness. Minnesota. Fred, is there a lot of um, eraser factories in uh, Minnesota? Out of interest. So uh, let's go to the crime scene. <laughs> Maybe I need to read those. If I need some of that. How is uh, which has been your favorite? How's the She-Hulk one been? I've arrived at the point Corka marked on my map. No signs yet of anyone here. There's some footprints though. Oh, I missed the gum. <gasps> that, that's Edvard, one of the members of the Brotherhood cult. Got to find out what he's... You spooked him. <laughs> Highly recommend. Did she do a lot of lawyering? Help Nelson navigate a path through the woods to Edvard by arranging the sections of the forest. Make sure there's a complete path from Nelson to Edvard. All pieces must be placed when submitting. She did! Because I was thinking, I've been thinking about watching uh, the She-Hulk movie, but I'm a little bit worried that maybe she won't do enough lawyering. Because that's kind of what I'm interested in. I'm, inter I'm interested in the, the legal stuff. <laughs> I definitely can't go there, but this might go here.
This feels like it's just kind of trial and error. See which ones fit together. doesn't see I think this one's got a beer something that goes allows you to go up and then maybe come back down around interesting 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 <laughs> which way do I go now oh geez Are your parents siblings? <laughs> or something... I th we want something that allows us to go up. Rather than that way. So we could always go... No, this doesn't work. I feel like this... Or this one are the only two that kind of are jimmy jamming with me. So it's either of those two. Back for more? Was there a lot of intermarriage in your family? Stupid. Oh, I spat at that one. Got so excited by the incest, it spat everywhere. Oh, this looks pretty good. Not quite right, but that feels that feels good. Around. Well, that's just one big circle, but it does kind of. Where even? Where 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 is even? Where am I supposed to be letting out here? Oh, up there. Okay. I didn't even fucking realize. It's supposed to be letting out up here, guys. <laughs> Where am I even supposed to be? But I thought I was... For some reason, I had it in my mind that we were supposed to be going over there. Goodness sake. Right. Mm-mm. This doesn't work up there, so this can either go down here or down here. Otherwise, doesn't work. Does it even matter? Doesn't matter at all. Do 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 do. Lonely. Maybe we try this one again. I don't know why I just I cannot get this. We could try and work backwards. Maybe that would make it easier.
This kind of looks good. I'm too frantic. What do you mean? I'm not too frantic. I'm I'm calm as a um as a really really calm animal you know like <laughs> very calm Are you whining at me yeah you are i know you are i can hear you hmm? yeah i can hear you nice stinky Oh, this goes well. Okay, let's go with this. Calm and serene. That's my, those. Excuse me, those are my biscuits. This is trickier than it looks. I'm going to have to start again. <laughs> oh, I get like I get PTSD from that. <laughs> this is trickier than it looks. <laughs> you okay? Oh, she's gone. She's gone, bread. She tried to take my biscuits, and now she's fucked off. She's like, Merlin, if you will not release the biscuits to me, I'm leaving. I do not wish to be somewhere that does not give me any biscuits. Yeah, I was thinking we go down here, round here, round here, then we go through here, but then that kind of doesn't work, because when we end up back up there. <sighs> Maybe we go for something different. Maybe we try again. Go, like, up. No, 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 no. We go, maybe we go for this one. It goes to the left. She is so used to my schedule. She knows. No, didn't we already establish that it has to go to the right? Didn't we? Yeah, because none of them work when you go to the left. Hey, Stinky. Unless it's this one. Oh, hello. Hi there. Which way should I go now? <laughs> That's perfect for David because he's always fucking lost. Thank <laughs> you, Oh. No, 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 no. Hi. Ah. <laughs> he fell off the side of a fucking cliff. Because <laughs> he's so lost, he fell off the side of the cliff. Hi. Very cute. This way should I go now? Oh, you are so cute. He got lost in the maze. <laughs> and how Sir David Attenborough perished. Lost in the maze. Alright, going to the left doesn't work. I don't see any, like, any way that that works. Has to, we have to go to the right. We have to go to the right. There's no choice. We have to. What a cute little weenie. Give her some. She's already given her a snack. That's why she's still here, because I've given her one. I think it's gotta be this one. Good girl. Cute. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, yes, we did it. What? No. Oh fuck.
Where did they live? Almost, yeah, yeah, almost. Oh, this kind of works, doesn't it? As soon as I try and pet her, she'll leave, though. I know she would. Oh, she's gone. I'm gone. I'm gonna go sit in my bed. Urgh. Not getting enough attention, mother. Who said they'd figured this out? Who said they'd figure? Who did? Who figured this out? Yeah, the current top middle. Maybe this one. Oh! 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 Oh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. He goes zoom, 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 zoom. Looks pretty legal. Where's he going, sir? Stop it. No. <laughs> Worth every ninety-five, every cent of that ninety-five thousand that they're paying me for that. Top first try. Top agent. Time bonus, my five thousand. I'd be so sad. <laughs> Maybe we won't get employee of the year. Edvard gave me the slip, and now I have no idea where I am. I'll have to find my way back to... Right, we'll have a look. We'll have a look. We'll have a, we'll have a little look. Is it blood? That's where Hermes left my parcel. I found, I can't believe it, but I found the body of an astronaut. I don't want to, but I've got to see. All right, let's go touch him. Let's go touch him. No, I won't pull off the helmet. Ignore the gnomes. Maybe those gnomes aren't even real. Maybe they're just puppets. No, son. I didn't hear you come in. I was very, very silent. Oh, she's drinking. Is this the latest from Hanji Monosaki? Oh, no, please. Rated four dragons, they please. said. Please. Monosaki no, not another one. Edge. I thought it was kind of tricky. Oh, thank God. Okay. I thought, I thought it was going to be another one of those fucking puzzles. Board games! And they're all for two players only! Marry me. Oh, I, I mean, you should try the new uh, strategy game, Marry Me. It, it, it's fun for the uh, whole family. Oh, gun. Okay. What's this? In the first box is a penny, the second box is a dime, and the third box is a penny and a dime. What coin goes in the fourth box? I joke, guys. I don't... I... Lads. Lads. I don't know what these coins are. This one? The Liberty coin. What's the... What it... I... 
What's the Liberty co Coin mean? What's that? I get to say, this is definitely an American puzzle. Which one's pie? <laughs> Which one's 3.15? <laughs> Oh, okay, so uh, this is one dollar. It's a gold dollar, right. And this one's a quarter dollar. Like a quarter pounder from McDonald's. And then this is a dime. No, this is a penny. Why is a penny bigger than a dime? Penny, dime. No, what's this one? This one's different. Which, which one could buy me a cheeseburger? <laughs> so this one's a nickel. This one's a nickel. So I'm gonna get her a job. <laughs> How do you guys know? How do you guys just look at these coins? I mean, I suppose I would. I, I guess so. Liberty is one dollar. Big silver coin next to it is 25. Smaller silver is 10. That one is five and the left is one. Okay. So it goes... 1, 10, 11. Right. So the answer would be... The, ans the answer to this question would, would be... This one, because that one's got George Washington on it. That's Abraham Lincoln. This is... Um, a lady with a baby. Uh, the Virgin Mary and Jesus. Oh, Sacagawea! Shaka so I've, I've heard of Sacagawea. Right, not not Mary and the baby Jesus. I don't know. I just I was like, okay, who's the most famous? Who's the most famous? The baby mum combo. Like the baby mum wombo combo is Mary and Jesus. That's how many tuppence in a dime. And then ah, uh, this one kind of looks like George Washington though. Which one's George? This one definitely looks like Abraham Lincoln. Does it matter which direction they're facing? Wombo combo. Eh. The quarter has Washington. The penny has Lincoln. Don't remember the name. The nickel or dime. Uh, one of them's got um, Handcock. Is that his name? Um, uh, what's his name? Mr. Hancock, Jefferson. <laughs> no, Mr. Yeah, <laughs> Mary and Jesus, the original mum and baby pal combo. Did not find any more legal situations for She Hulk while I was gone. Only what I reported before. Hancock, is that not his name? Like John John Hancock. Did they ever tell to teach you nothing? I like this one. I think I'm gonna go for this one because it says in God we trust. And I feel like But yes, yeah, see that makes me think it's a Jesus Mary Wombo combo because it says in in God we trust and you know, like Who's the like who's the mum baby wombo combo that like is God's favourite? Like Jesus, right? All our money says that. Oh, oh yeah, it does. It does say. Yeah, okay. All right, I see. I see. Um. Right. One, ten, eleven, twenty-two would be my answer. Yeah, I. I <laughs> is he actually the best known for signing his name the largest on the declaration? Well, his name was Handcock. Like like Hancock. Like if your name if your name had cock in it, you'd be signing it pretty large as well. Do 
Thomas Jefferson on the nickel, Franklin Roosevelt on the dime, George Washington on the quarter, and then John F. Kennedy on the half dollar. So, 1 to 10 to 11 to... I'm presuming I can't choose 2. So is it this one? Which one was this one? How, how much is this one? Five. That one's five. Okay. I don't think it's five. What's, how much is this one? This one's 25, right? This one's half. No, this one's 25. This one's half. This one's 10. Oh yeah, that's 10. That makes sense. This is one. So I'm going to go with this one. One, five, ten. One, five, ten. Twenty-five hundred. Why? Ah, uh, because he's got a really big nose. I don't know. I like the baby in this one. The gold one is one dollar. I feel like... One, then ten, then eleven, and then... A hundred? No, that doesn't make any sense. I would think maybe twenty-five. Because of his nose. I don't. You know, it just, it just, it stands out above all the other noses. Click what for clarity? It's just um, in the first box there's a penny, the second box is a dime, and the third box is a penny and a dime. What coin goes in the fourth box? A hundred makes sense, but why? Because it's, it's the only other one with a one in it. Oh, is the baby a Sacagawea? I thought the mum was Sacagawea. <laughs> this is this then. What is this? I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with my first. My first instinct was to go for the baby. My first instinct was to go for the baby. The mum is Sacagawea. The baby is not. <laughs> and the baby is not Jesus either. We we established that one. Oh, you know, I, I'm going to go with my first thought. It only cost the government 97,000. Nice! Oh, it's by... Oh, right. He was... Uh, binary. That makes sense. I just... I, I just picked it because I was immediately... I don't know... Just love mums, you know? <laughs> wow, that was interesting. Exhalation. <laughs> just I just love mums, so you know, I thought it was uh thought it was only appropriate. It helped the explorers diffuse tensions with native tribes. The fact they were traveling with a baby meant they won a war party. Oh, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> Top agent. <laughs> Only by virtue of liking mums. Oh, you didn't click house, so we'll never know why. It's because I, I feel like, you know, once I win, the how matters little, you know? Baby's name was Jean-Baptiste Charbonneau. A French? French name? Right. We will, we will save. Oh, hang on, 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 hang on a moment. There we go. There we go, lads. We can... Where is that? Oh, I see, I see. Look, look, look. Queen's in a box. I don't want to sort... I don't want to... Just getting paid for uh, sending off the same fucking puzzle. They'll never know if I submit it twice. The coin values represent successive binary numbers. The penny is 001, the dime is 010, and the penny 
and the dime is 011, the dollar is 100. Oh, tsa, tsa kakawea. Is that right, Bread? Google says sakajawea. I've only heard it um, on TV, I think. I've only heard it on TV. Am I planning on finishing this up next week? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I think we'll play this on Tuesday next week. Why not, I suppose? One of the street attacks is just crying. <laughs> Do you think I should always put that? I've got a feeling. I think I'm just trying to think of what I've seen. Uh, is it? Night of the Museum. That's N Night of the Museum is where I <laughs> where I learn about Sacagawea. Night of the Museum. <laughs> I was thinking. I was <laughs> Probably the most, the like, I don't know, Night of the Museum was pretty good, wasn't it? I think it was pretty good. The silliest way to learn about it. The night, yeah, the Night of the Museum movie with, um, what's his name in it? Yeah, good puzzling, good Nancy. Good anus. Retro and crime stream. <laughs> Gonna start always tagging us as crime as well. Time for a hamburger. Thank you very much, Pagan. Yeah, she's doing all right. You did a little, little bit of a bun. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Ah. So cute. Right, I'm gonna let you all go out in the other. Yeah, go on. Get, get out, get out of here. And we'll be back tomorrow for. <laughs> Yeah, Maniac Mansion. Maniac Mansion tomorrow. And on Wednesday, we will be playing... Well, tomorrow is Wednesday, so that's Maniac Mansion budget. Tomorrow is Wednesday. And Friday, we'll be playing Final Fantasy. Yeah, tomorrow Final Fantasy. Oh my god. Somebody... Somebody take over for me. <laughs> Tomorrow Maniac Mansion, Friday Final Fantasy 7, Monday Final Fantasy 7, Tuesday next week will be more Puzzle Agent 2, alright? Too many puzzles, not enough brain. I will see you tomorrow for Maniac Mansion and on Friday for Final Fantasy, both at 1. Alright, I'll see you guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Missed a little bit of Puzzle Agent, but we'll be puzzling some more next Tuesday. 